guys, and welcome to Mastras Robots Endgame Heat 8. Okay, so seven robots have already gone through, including a very destructive last heat. But now an eighth robot is going to go through to our final 12, our semi finals. Who's going to be this week? Amethyst has the lifter. Um, can it solve right though? Well, it can sometimes and it can't other times. Great design. Right? Fire Force had a stretch as a MRW Tag Team Champion uh, alongside Demon Horns. Good lifter on it again. Stream make issue. Flash Fire made it to the Heat Finals uh, in the last series. Big lifter on it. Cancel of Right. Finally. Yay. And Torto Terra. Has had no problems with self writing because it doesn't have a stream mech. So, no issues there then. Robots here, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. Here we go. It's Amethyst and Flash Fire kicking things off. There's Torto Terra. Fire Force trying to get the flipper on Torto Terra. Should have got it there. There's Toyo Terra pushing in again now. Toyo Terra, the only ever consecutive Robot Rumble winner. Two series in a row. Toyo Terra was the Robot Rumble winner. Toyo Terra now running away here, pushing Fire Force into Volganon here. Flash Fire now pushing. There is Amphist to get underneath and lift Flash Fire with the lifter. And Flash Fire is stuck there. Can he get the flipper to get himself down? Volganon to the back of Fire Force. Flashfire is having a tough time trying to get himself back off the back off the sidewall. He has done it though. Here comes Fire Force. Great lift by Fire Force, flipping up both Flashfire and Amphist. Amphist, as I said, Shremek issues. Amphist can't self right, I don't think. No, he can't. Fire Force going again for Toro Terra. Toro Terra flipped up and over. Can we see for the first time ever Toro Terra KO in the first round? Fire Force coming in on Flash Fire here. It's Fire Force and Flash Fire going at it right here. Flash Fire in there. Bill is going to come in the counter. Amphist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Toro Terra back on his feet and he's up on his side. Toro Terra up on his side again! Toro Terra in serious trouble right here! Has he got enough wheel power to get down? His wheels can't hit the floor! Flash fire self right! Could we be seeing a humongous shock here? Toro Terra in trouble! No, back down again! Rookie mistakes being played here by Flash Fire and Fire Force. Fire Force again flips up Toro Terra! I don't think he's going to get lucky another time here. And Fire Force also flipped up. Fire Force trying to self right. Flash Fire pushes Toro Terra. Bill's just got owned. Pushes Toro Terra into White Lightning. Toro Terra has been flipped up. So has Fire Force. And Toro Terra is stuck here. Look at that. White Lightning getting the axe down right on a Toro Terra's wheel. White Lightning takes Toro Terra and he may have taken Toro Terra right out of the competition right here. No, wait a minute! Toro Terra too heavy and Toro Terra is sort of moving. He's moving again. He's moving again, but at what cost? White Lightning gets back on his feet. Cease. Well, after a bizarre change of fortune, there must be some sort of power helping Toro Terra here. But Toro Terra has gone through with Fire Force going out. Toro Terra, the luckiest robot alive right now. Shouldn't have gone through, in my opinion. Flash Fire and Toro Terra go through to the second round. I'll tell you guys, if we had a judge's decision, well, if it was used more often in NLW. I would definitely say that Flash Fire and Fire Force would be going through, but no. Fire Force was flipped up, couldn't self right. Toro Terra, its weight helped him against White Lightning and able to get back on its feet before it was counted out. 
That's fair enough, but yeah. Let's see if Torterra can be that lucky in the second round. But first, the second match of the first round. Anderson Logris, it took Diamond Storm to beat this robot last time round in its first appearance. The longest reigning champion in MRW history has been Judgment Champion for, oh god, so long. Galvin, big lifter on this one, powerful flipper, no Shremek. Yeah, maybe we'll see it go far finally. Ball and chain. Clusterbot, the only Clusterbot in MRW. And, well, one with a chain flail, one with a pushing power. If one robot goes, they are both eliminated. That's the Clusterbot rule. And Zero, big lifter on it. It took Calamity Call to beat this robot in the last series. Beaten in the, in the uh, Heat semi-finals last time. Robot here is standby. Three, two, one. Activate. Ball and Chain begin by splitting up. That's the ability of Ball and Chain. Chain now trying to come in with a with a push. There's Galvin! Nearly flipping up Ball. Ball stays in the game. Ball now going for Zero. Pushing Zero. Here comes Zero with a flip on Ball. Zero flips Ball! Right onto the the, uh, the lifting arm of Anselm Walrus. And straight away, both Ball and Chain! May have just made their exit here in MRW. Straight away, big move by the team and the good lift by Zero to get Galvin up. Ball and Chain is stuck. Ball and Chain are stuck. They're completely stuck. Zero trying to maybe get Chain. Maybe get Chain back onto. There you go, back on. Now they're in trouble. They can't escape from that. Ball and Chain, I believe, are out of it. And Snorris flipped up now by Zero. Zero, great robot. Great lifter. Look at that from Zero. Bill is going to come in to count out Ball and Chain here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there goes Ball and Chain. They're gone. Bill's not going to come in to count out Galvin here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and there goes Galvin. And that's it. That is the first round. Anderson the Walrus goes through with zero, and zero has been very impressive. Cease. So zero goes through in a, an impressive performance here. Anderson the Walrus did his share as well to eliminate Ball and Chain, and zero flipping up Galvin to beat them. Now it's time for the second round. Our heat semi-finals are coming up. It's flash fire going up against Zero, but first Anderson the Walgrus versus Torty. Well, this is gonna be one great battle. We have the lifting forks of Anderson the Walgrus versus the pushing power of Torto Terra. This is gonna be a tough one, and if I'm honest, I'd say that Torto Terra is the underdog right here after his performance in the first round. Raw tier standby. Three, two, one, activate. Torterra's got to get his act together for a kickoff here against Anderson Logra, the longest reigning champion in MRW history. He's held the Legends title for well over a year, but Torterra gets straight in the knee. And that was a mistake by Anderson Logra right here. Both robots were beaten in the heats uh, last time around, both heat finalists in the last series. Both robots want to go further this time around. Torterra pushes Anderson Logris into Excalibur. Sorry, into White Lightning. My mistake. White Lightning gets the axe down now on two. Anderson Logris at least tries. Anderson Logris dodging for the moment. Anderson Logris gets back down onto his feet using the wall as sort of a propelled motion. Torterra pushes Anderson Logris onto his top again. And Anderson Logris is in trouble here. They did not put a stream mech on the robot, and this could be, that could have been the downfall for Anderson Logris, who is in serious danger here. Here comes Bloodshed, Anderson Logris back on his feet. We are back one-on-one, -on -one, but Anderson Logris needs to get the forks down uh, to lift up Toro Terra instead of being on top here, because that's what's causing the ground clearance to be so high of Anderson Logris. 
Whereas ground clearance is normally very low. Torterra pushes again. Here comes Anderson the Wagras. Trying to turn Torterra around. Torterra knew what was happening. Got off the fork. Got off the forks. Torterra nearly pushing Anderson the Wagras down into the pit. This is a close battle right here between Anderson the Wagras and Torterra. Torterra pushing Anderson the Wagras again into it. In a Bolgannon. Bolgannon with the claw. Coming down on Anderson the Wagras. And look at that. The claw comes down, Anderson Wagras barely escapes, suffering, I'd say, superficial damage. So, and again, once again, Torterra pushes into, uh, into Bolgannon, but luckily, once again, Anderson Wagras able to escape, find a way to escape Bolgannon's lair. Anyway, Anderson Wagras now trying to lift up Torterra, and he's done it, but no! Try to find a way to get him onto his top. That's going to be difficult to do with a forklift. Big lifter, easy to do. Toro Terra, on the other hand, has been very cautious in this. In this semi-final. And no surprise after how he did in the first round. But Toro Terra has looked like he's got back on his feet. Anson Wagras now. Great comeback from Anson Wagras so far. Staying on his wheels. That's a brilliant performance from Anson Wagras right here. See, he's just staying on his wheels. I don't know how in the world it's happening. Toro Terra again. Big push. He's gone to the Wagras piggybacks. He did for one moment there, and that could be what separates him. And Torterra backs up. And Anson the Wagras is going to go down. He's down. Torterra goes through to the heat finals. Maybe that first round was the kickstart that Torterra needed. Great battle. Cease. Well, Anson the Wagras put up one hell of a fight, and I'll tell you, if he'd got Torterra. In just the right way, I'd say that he would have gone through. Torterra made sure that wouldn't happen, though, and fair play to Anson the Wagras for having a great performance here in Series 10, but it's all over now. So who will Torterra take on in the Heat Finals? Will it be Flash Fire, or will it be Zero? This is going to be the battle which epitomizes Fanmei Roat Wars. We have Flash Fire. A robot made by Alex, or designed by Alex the 15th, now Alex the 20th, so long ago, like three or four years ago, versus Zero, uh, the winning name for Bamzuki Man 130 for a Name a Robot competition. This is going to be interesting. Robots here, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. Who is going to win this battle here? Flash, oh, and that's it, it's over already! Zero got straight in and lifted Flashfire out of the arena. And Zero is going to stay as impressive as ever as he motors on to the heat final. Cease. Well, that battle was quick. If you went to make a cup of tea during that, then welcome to the heat finals. The heat finals is Zero versus Torto Terra. Big battle between two big giants of MRW right here. So while Torto Terra had some big problems trying to dispose of Anson the Wagra, Zero just went and out of the arena goes uh, Flash Fire. I've got to say Zero's the favorite right here. Big lifter, good lifter. If Anson the Wagra was replacing Torto Terra, I'd say the Wagras had the advantage with the sides of Zero being able to be forklifted and lifted up. But it's Torto Terra. Let's see how this match goes. Robots here, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. A Shremek is pretty much vital here in MRW. Something that Toyo Terra doesn't have and has not had for 10 whole series of MRW. He was a series champion, yes. Two-time Royal Rumble winner, yes. But it's going to take a lot more than history to beat Zero. Zero trying to get in there. There's Toyo Terra with a big push in the ball, Gannon. Bolgannon gets the claw down on Zero. Zero smashes the claw away with a lifter. Zero now trying to flip up Torterra. Torterra is a top heavy robot. It's a heavy guy. Heavy robot is Torterra. Torterra gets the head right between the lifter. That is what Torterra, I believe, needs to do. If he can get the head between the lifter, he can control Zero because he has the pushing capabilities. Zero back in the game here. Self right. And there's a flip. There was the flip. Zero. Torterra is in trouble. Torterra is in serious danger here. 
Here comes Bolgaran onto the legend that is Torto Terra. But we could be seeing another robot who is such a great historical part of MRW4 right here. Zero pushes the pit release button. He knows Torto Terra has been beaten. He knows Torto Terra is beaten. A Shremek is what Torto Terra needed this series. And it's not going to happen. Zero pushes Torto Terra. We are about to see the legacy of a great robot Torto Terra fall right about. Come on. Come on, Zero. Finish him off right about now. It's over. Zero goes through. Torto Terra knocked out. Cease. That is such a shame because Torterra is one of the most popular robots in MRW. But you cannot mistake the fact that he did not have a Shremek this series. And that's what he needed to win. But he didn't have it. So, Zero on the other hand. Zero is the robot that goes through. And is the 8th robot through to the Master Astro Wars series quarterfinals. This is turning into a really bizarre series. The big names are going out on the robots which... A very underrated are going through. I don't know what the hell's happening, honest. Anyway, guys, that's it for this week. Um, I will see you next week for Heat 9 of Master Draft Rules Endgame. But until then, I'm Master Draft. You can't spell FMRW without MRW, and I'll see you for Heat 9. Goodbye. <laughs>